Happy New Year, everybody. It's New Year's Day. Uh, we have two small collections we're going to go through. One is vintage and one is modern. So I figured a tale of two collections. Let's show you guys what we have. We have some vintage stuff I need to bring in the, the, the building still. Um, we got some uh, Ninja Turtles. I think it's like Ninja Turtles spawn. Some 90s era stuff. Some G.I. Joe. Inv the Invasion of Anzio. And I forget what's in there. The rest of it is in the back of these vans. So we're not going to go through that yet. We're going to go through the stuff that I brought inside the building, which is, let's see. All right. All the Christmas stuff's getting ready to get put away. We got Josh's Star Wars stuff here. So Josh came in the other day um, with some Star Wars collectibles. There's one Marvel Legend in there, but it's all modern Star Wars Black Series uh, vintage collection kind of stuff. So we'll go through that, see what we have. I got to get all this stuff inventoried to put it out on the shelf. Um, but as you can see, a lot of uh, restocking is going to need to be done. We need to get all the, the advent calendars taken down, the ornaments, all that Christmas stuff, the candy canes. Those are no longer going to be here. And then uh, obviously the Christmas trees and all that jazz uh, need to come down. I don't know what I'm going to put here. So we did signings, and this is what we used for the signings and all that stuff, and we used it for Santa Claus. I don't know what I'm going to put there, because I'm not having a signing anytime soon, and uh, we're going to have a big empty spot. I have some pedal cars. Maybe I'll throw them on the floor there. I don't know. We'll see. So anyways, let's get the lights turned on. This is what I do in the morning, every morning. Turn on the lights. I got to straighten up. It was a... Uh, after Christmas, it was crazy. It was busy in here. And then... We have to turn on those lights. Boom. Now you can see all the wonderful toy goodness um, of what's coming in the shop. Pox's Wave, I think it's on the water now, or maybe they just received it at their warehouse, so I should be getting the next wave of uh, Cosmics in soon. So, Anywho, let's go check out uh, this collection. If you guys haven't watched already, it's on uh, Amazon Prime, A Toy Store Near You Season 6. We are Episode 2. Check it out over on Amazon Prime. Um, it's a pretty cool episode. Uh, I'm a little biased, but... What are you, you going to do? All right, so let's go through some of this stuff here. Again, a lot of this modern Star Wars isn't super high-end, obviously. I mean, it's modern, so um, that's not Star Wars. That's Venom. But it's still desirable. Some of this stuff, um, you know, stuff that we get from our distributors, so like stuff I have cases of. But some of this stuff is stuff that I've sold out of. I'm just going to kind of do a real quick... Uh, Go through here. Oh, here's the droids Boba Fett. So I know he had some exclusives and stuff like that in the collection, but like some guys, like I mean, Cobb Vanth, I probably have two, three cases of him still. Same thing with Clone Commander there. So again, when you bring it in a collection with a lot of stuff that's modern, uh, depending on what it is, if it's stuff I need, I'll still probably pick it up. But we're looking for mainly vintage stuff right now because again, a lot of the modern stuff we have. So, that's that box. And I know this isn't as exciting as the vintage stuff for some of y'all, but some people enjoy the modern, so we're going to go through both. I'm just doing a real quick video. It's not going to be a 10-hour video, I don't think. But this stuff will be uh, going in the shop here. Probably today, I'll probably get all this stuff in the system. Some of it I probably already have. I know, like, fives I sold out of. So some of these I've already had and I've sold out of, which is good to get some uh, restock because it's not available wholesale anymore George Lucas Stormtrooper that's probably the cheapest best Stormtrooper you can get right now uh, from the Black Series I mean it's George Lucas but put the helmet on and nobody knows There's Grand Admiral Thrawn ever since Ahsoka he's been flying out of here so I don't think I have any more of him left Bad Batch is always uh, popular so one of the Bad Batch I think it's Hunter he was one of the ones that came out during COVID so there was just uh, not many of them made I guess I don't know if they cut production or what, so that one goes for a little bit. I don't know if it's in here or not. But like some of these figures, I mean like this one. Uh, Bo-Katan. I was looking for one of her the other day. I think I was out of her. I was trying to find it because someone was looking for it. I think um, the actress that plays her is going to be at Motor City Comic Con this year. So I got that uh, carbonized one. So what do you guys think about the Black Series? Do you prefer uh, vintage collection, like the smaller scale, Black Series, or vintage? Then there's Costa Reeves. So some of these ones, or a lot of these ones, I don't have in stock anymore. 
So that's good. Good little restock on those. I don't know if he had these downstairs or what, but the boxes are kind of nasty. Luckily, he had them in totes and not cardboard boxes because I'd imagine that would get uh, all over the figures. There's a Disney castle if you need the Frozen castle. Someone bought the uh, Razor Crest Lego set we had down there. So we have the Bad Batch set here. I want to say this Arc Trooper one. This is an older vintage collection. I want to say this one's a little more pricey, like 70 bucks or something like that. Again, I'm going off of memory, so I'm probably not correct. I'm sure someone out there in uh, YouTube land will correct me if I'm wrong. That one's cool. I don't remember that one. Mandalorian. So, who's that? Asajj Ventress. I don't think I have her in stock anymore, so that's a good one to get. The Starth Revan I'm out of. So, a bunch of these are ones that I had and sold out of, so. Got another Darth Revan. And then some of these are, like, I think these gaming greats were all um, GameStop exclusive, I want to say. Mandalorian. Like this Echo, or this one here. Oh, yeah, here we go. So, this Crosshair, again, that he was going for. You know, 70 bucks, I think, at one point. I don't know where he's at now. You got that price memory. You know, you remember what it was when they came out, but those two were uh, sought after ones that are a little more expensive. More, more than the average, you know, $25 figure. I want to say that was an exclusive, too, to Walmart. You got a little rip in the box, though. But luckily, there's two of them in here. That one looks better. What else do we have here? Hondo Ocho. Hondo Onaka. Actually, not Ocho. Is it Ocho like six in Spanish or something? Uh, Bly. Again, some of these clone commanders are desirable, but not necessarily expensive. So, uh, who we have here? It's uh, what's his name? Trapper Wolf. That was a Comic Con exclusive or a Hasbro exclusive or something like that. Hawk, Skywalk, Anakin, Boba Fett in disguise. I don't think I've ever had this one. Let's see. It's a damn Velcros. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had that one. Is the disguise he just like in black armor? Let's see. Huh. He's disguised himself with with nano spray paint. So, I guess if Clark Kent can disguise himself with glasses, or Superman can disguise himself with glasses, General Grievous. I think I just sold my last one of him the other day. Cad Bane. We got Echo and Obi Wan. And the Artillery Stormtrooper. So, overall, you know, a decent little collection. Some of them I don't have, some of them I do have. But I think more of them are ones I don't have, so, in stock anymore. So, we're going to go get all the uh, vintage stuff. And uh, we'll go through that stuff here in a minute. And I'll show you what we got. Alright, guys. We're here with this collection. The vintage collection. You saw the, the new stuff. You know, not super exciting. But we're here with Shanus and uh, John. Look at this, Shane. I don't know what that is. I don't know either. It's got wheels. It's missing a leg. I saw this one. Does anybody know what that is? Uh-oh. 1980 1980 alligator. 1980 It was a marble in it. <laughs> Don't swallow that. All right, so. This is a Star Wars and Bartman, according to this. So this collection was weird. It had 90s stuff and vintage stuff, so I don't know if he had hand-me-downs or what, but this is cool. Batman the Animated Series, Shane. Batmobile. Nice. And then there's a newer... Slave one without its wings. Oh, the wings are in there. Hey, Batman. Is he? Nice. And then you got this uh, Star Trek. Well, who's your favorite Jedi in Star Trek? <laughs> Poor John. Ugh. Then you got like a vintage Chewbacca and then a modern, well, 90s era. There's those. Yeah, so does anybody know how to restring the arms on this? This guy's arms kind of uh looks like someone attempted to do Yeah, that someone already. tried to fix it. It looks like they didn't do a very good job. At least the clips aren't broken. Yeah. yeah. So that's a good hand pile. John is Mr. Fix It. If you guys didn't know, this is John. He fixes stuff for a day or two. <laughs> Not like he comes in works and fixes things for a day or two at the shop, like he fixes things and it stays fixed for a day oh, or two. Alright, so it looks like we got looks like this is modernish. Yeah. Is any vintage in here? No, no. Lobot, yes! We got a vintage Lobot. What's that? Is that a, um... Uh, what's that thing called? 
That's not. What's that Is one uh, in human? Metal Star Galactica. Is it? No. I don't know. I can't see. What am I thinking of? Shogun. No, those little clear guys. Probably no, not. Uh, Micronauts? Yeah. This might be a Micronaut. That is... Someone cut his cape? Or is, yes. <laughs> he, is it a Micronaut? No. All right, do we have any vintage, like, weapons in here? Because that's... Out of this is the only thing that we're really going to care about. That modern stuff is not really... Big Fortuna's vintage. Yeah, he doesn't have his cape. Nice Lobot, too. Or there's a Lobot. Ooh, there's a cane for Yoda. Is that a vintage one? In there? No. Yeah. Modern. That might be a vintage Jabba the Hutt. Yeah. That's vintage Jabba. Uh, no, it looks like it's all modern. Crapola. No offense if you like modern stuff, but I'm more for the vintage. I thought that was a vintage one, but it's not. All right. Well, what else do we have? What's that thing? A little, little. Tommy robot. Cool. All right, what else we got in here? Air Force jet Tonka. Oh, uh, the propellers are broken. But that would make the propellers turn this uh, handle under here. It's a metal man. Oh, I have a metal man. I got it in the 80s house. It's in the box. That's a uh, micro machines. That's a modern chicken walker. Oop, there's a He Man. Let's see, does it launch? You shoot my eye out. <laughs> Swamp thing mobile. This is the second one I've ever seen in my life. The other one's in there. <laughs> what the heck is this? G.I. Joe. Missing the two uh, side pieces. Yeah, they might be in there. Ghostbuster truck. Battle uh, Ram. Oh, what the? What is that? It's a Bastosaurus. What is this? <laughs> John, will you wear this tail? <laughs> Yeah, you're... I'm a cat. They fell off. Oh, man. I didn't get it. You got to make cat noises in there. You got it? The things we do here. The things we do for a lot of... You a pirate. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's broken. Oh, there's the thing for... Uh, isn't that the side for that? No, like it's a G.I. Joe no. thing. They need to be two smaller ones just like that. Hey, John, want to make five bucks? <laughs> there's a Tonka military vehicle. That's for, uh, a bike, isn't it? I don't know. It goes on the handlebar. Oh, it looks too big. Man, this guy was not very good with his toys. He beat them up. This might be some parts lots here, Shane. Is that? It's a stick. Maybe it's a magic wand. Make something come out of it. Make something, John something. Make John disappear. <laughs> All right, what else we got? Let's see. He said this was the uh, tackle battle platform. He said he thought it was complete. So we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. That's the least exciting GI Joe base. Yeah, it might be complete. This is easier with two people. So there's multiple Ewok villages in here. Bummer. And we got, looks like a lot of the pieces. Yeah, most of them look like they're in there. What's underneath here? Oh, we got comic books. Spawn. Cards. Yes. yes. Ooh, here we go. 1993 Marvel Masterpieces. Well, that's cool. Doesn't have the antenna broken either. Yeah. Uh... Yep, the idiot detector's working. <laughs> Just kidding, John. Nerd detector? Yeah. Nerds. Nerd detector. So here's a sewer playset. That's good. We have that one downstairs that we need a couple pieces for, so maybe the pieces for it are in here, hopefully. Maybe. Hey, John, do you need a uh, Ewok village? Oh, yeah. Do you need two Ewok villages? Why are you wearing gloves inside? Are you Michael Jackson? What's oh, no. You're inside. There's heat. Let me open this up. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's see what's in it. So he had these, and I got a little excited at first, and then he's like, no, none of them are actually sealed. <laughs> so we have, like, some Jurassic Park. Not really mint on card. He probably opened them to get the trading card out. Because there's no trading cards in them. 
That's Dennis Nedry. He did not look like that in the show. At all. Telephone poles look unbroken. Good, because isn't that what we needed for the other one? Yeah. Robert Muldoon. I don't remember him. Oh, here's a Jurassic Park vehicle. We just had one of these, right? Didn't we just sell one of these? Is this one? I don't know what it's missing. It's supposed to have a net or something, isn't it? I think we just put one down in the showcase, didn't we? Did we? I don't know. The UFO lamp. Oh, I'd much rather have a UFO lamp than Toy Biz. No, Toy Biz is the best. 14 different kinds of cables. Him and Wolverine, man. What's that go to? Is that like Iceman, maybe? Some kind of ice armor? Probably. So far, guys, I mean, we got some interesting vintage stuff. And then we had that Black Series stuff. So I don't know. What do you like better so far? If you've made it this far in the video, do you like the vintage collection stuff that's here? Or do you like the uh, modern Black Series and vintage collection toys? This is a Street Fighter uh, vehicle. DC made it in there. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Dragon. Ooh, Mortal Kombat boat. Nice. Got some Mortal Kombat stuff. I wonder if there's any Mortal Kombat like figures, though. That is a brand new land speeder. I say brand new, but it's from the 90s. What else we got here? Johnny Quest. Is that what it is? That JQ? Looks like it. I don't know. I've never watched Johnny Quest. I just know the initials. Oh, there's a B-Wing um, canopy. That's a modern one. Yeah. No electronics. It's funny, they took the electronics out of the new one. That no, it's modern. What'd you get? Eat that marble. Swallow that. Yeah. Put it up your nose. Put it up your nose, John. <laughs> Alright, what else we got here? What's this? Some kind of G.I. Joe? Yeah, one of those 90s era Joe stuff. And there's the rest of the pieces for it. Anything good in there? Anything under our flaps? Nope. That's like, oh, is that a... Um, Something, Stario, something. Yeah, something. I got a Stario in there. It doesn't have a head. I wonder. It's not from the same guy. I wonder if that would, if that's the piece I need to complete that Stario. That'd be funny. So that thing not complete. It might be. You said that not not everything. The sewer layer. Uh, it looks all right. It might all be here. All right, cool. And it's not all. Shane. Cabana God. pizza cheese flavored balls. I'll Deliciously these, different. They're, here. they're not. I looked. I peeked. I opened it up. It's a bunch of accessories for Ninja Turtles. Ooh. Ooh, that goes to the sewer layer. That's wheels. That's sewer layer right there. Here you want to nice. just dump it in there, yeah. There's splinters uh clothes. So somewhere we have a naked rat. Wow, a lot in there. Muckman. What's the what's the holdout? Is it all Ninja Turtles? That looks like Batman. That's the Zoid. Oh, okay. Arm. There's Joe Eyeball. We got a good uh, little chunk of accessories there. I don't know what that is. That goes to Krang, right? What, like a mini one? Yeah, but there's an Android crane I saw in here. So does it go? Does this go with this? Like you switch them out? I'm not sure. Yeah, it must. I don't know. I never had that one. Is that GI Joe or something? I'm not sure. Does anybody know what this goes to? It looks like it would go on a GI Joe. I didn't. I haven't seen any GI Joes in here. I mean, there's GI Joe stuff, so there's probably Joes with it. But all right, here you wanna. All right, what do we got? Got some movie turtles, space usagi. Nothing uh, super rare, right? These are all kind of common. Bart, don't have a cow, man. He's broke. 
There's your naked rat. Yeah, we got. Oh, that chrome donut is uh, no chrome left. What else we have? Yeah. There's a box. What is this? Franklin clasp envelopes. Oh, it's getting better and better. We have a Spalding box for Spawn. I mean, these Spawn guys, they're not super expensive. Most of the time, Spawn guys on card are, what, 10 to 15 bucks? You know? So loose like this, if they're complete, maybe $5, you know, bagged up. But yeah, Spawn, the main character there, obviously. I don't know who half these guys are. You clown. But he did so many different figures. Is that Ninja Spawn? There's Medieval Spawn. The Bendy Violator, but his head's missing. Or not his head, but his, uh... Thing. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's the clown. Does that one have the head that flips around? Yeah, he like... Yeah, it's like those old uh, Power Rangers. So this goes inside there. I don't think it's fixable. It looks like it just broke. But All right, what else we got here? John, can you blow this up for us and see if it holds air? <laughs> what is all this? Ooh. BBs? No. It's film. I thought it was going to be like a bead in it or something. <laughs> this is G.I. Joe weapons. Okay, so there must be Joe's somewhere in here. It's all newer looking Joe stuff. Yeah, there's an Outback. That's older, right? Is that Outback? I don't know that's not. What the heck's this thing? There's some that look like they're like that mid late 80s, early 90s. That goes Ninja Turtles, right? Isn't that that Mike that spins his arm? Yeah. Z11 Chase. Oh, here we go. Here's the G.I. Joes. Is that Joe? Goro. Okay, cool. So there's some Mortal Kombat guys in here. That's to do some fixing. Yeah. Chun or not Chun Li. What's his name? Uh, Liu Kang. <laughs> oh, does he have his mic? I didn't see the helicopter, but if his mic's in there, that's a good find. Johnny Cage. So yeah, we have some Mortal Kombat guys. There's Ken. Ooh, reptile. So I think he came with that boat. Goro. Are these Joes? Doesn't it? I don't know. There's a couple different like these silver dudes. They don't look like Joes. Do they say Hasbro? Look, I'm about to go fishing. Yo, Joe. That's what this looks like to me. <laughs> it's like Tom Selleck going fishing. So I can't read it, but it has the mark where GI Joe would have the mark. What do you mean? Where it would say has bro. Okay. There's smoke. So we got some of the ninjas in here. Those are desirable. Hopefully they have their weapons in there. Everybody loves a ninja. All right. Speaking of ninjas, if you haven't seen my ninja skills, make sure you check out that uh, episode of Toy Story Near You Were On, because I have some mean ninja skills. What do you think, Shane? Have you even yeah. watched it yet? Yeah, they were awesome. Yeah. Oh, God. Let's see. What's in this last box? Ooh. Laser Force. Laser Force? Not G.I. Joe? Not G.I. Joe. The Corpse. <laughs> oh, the Corpse the is awesome. Corpse. It's the core, not the Corpse. corpse. Doesn't fit. Here, John, you have a small pea head. Try that thing on. You didn't try. When did you try? <laughs> John has a date tonight. You should wear that on your date. Yes. Night and shiny right? Something like that. Okay, good. So we have the canopy to this. John, that probably needs to get some electronics looked at. Oh, here's one of the wings. This probably needs to be fixed too. He's got electronics. He's stompy. Is that it? Yeah, it's a cannon before it. Ooh, look! Yeah. I'm gonna put this in with the He-Man stuff and see if anyone thinks it's He-Man. 
Yeah, but I'll... Ooh. John? Yes. Do you want to be part of the Star Patrol? <laughs> put that put that on. Just try. Just don't break it's cracked already. Don't don't squeeze it, but Oh, it's already broke. Oh, you're gonna break it. I told you. Oh god. Ooh, walkie talkies. It's brontosaurus. Good lord, that thing's like five hundred pounds. Look at that thing, look how heavy that is. Uh that does that have electronics on it? Oop, jab the hook. Ah, it's delicious crumb. He didn't make it. <laughs> He's having a... Uh, we got a Jabba. Yeah, we're going to need to sort this by Star Wars and... I don't know. What's this, Shane? Any idea? Looks like it hooks into something. Like a... Oh, maybe this. Is it hooked into there? Yeah, it looks like it goes there. I'm not sure what that is. It's a telephone. It's Disney. Disney? Yeah, does this go to it too? Yep. Yeah. Uh, what's it, Land Before Time maybe? Was that Disney? Yeah, I think so. Oh, there's another Jabba Hut piece. That's cool. I don't know if anything else goes with that. Never seen this before. There's all the art. We still need to hang up Zach Ward's uh, piece of art. Hey, John. You dropped this. I dropped this. I'm afraid to see what it is. It's your glitter baton. Are these just no-name dinosaur type things? Triceratops. This is tri tri That's not how you spell Triceratops. Close enough. Uh, they might be the Hong Kong. I think they are. Uh, let's see. The Carnegie, the Carnegie Museum of Natural History. Safari Limited. I bet that's what these are. Imperial. Oh, Imperial's cool. So, some 80s Imperial. Yeah. Oh, yeah Look at this, I got a free screwdriver. You want that? There you go. Oh wait here. <laughs> He's got goggles and stuff. Tape measure. Ooh, look at that's uh what's that? A T square? Look at that. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Now maybe stuff will stay fixed for more than a day. That's what I gotta do. Oh, that goes to Jabba's Palace. Or the Jabba the Hut. There you go. So I think that Jabba's complete. What's this box? Oh, that's one we just brought up. So, Anyways, guys. Let us know what you think of these collections. Two different collections, two different people, but same day. I think it was the last collection of uh, 2023, so... Hopefully we'll get some more cool collections in here for 2024. Remember, guys, we're always buying collections. If you have some vintage stuff you're looking to sell, give us a shout-out. Or if you got a uh, some modern stuff you're looking to sell. Anyways, until then, we'll see you in the shop.